Well, g'day, and how are we going today? I tell you what, we're going bloody great. What a beautiful day it is out here, travelling around, camping, living your own life. One of the greatest things about is it, you don't need to be on the grid. And as you can see by our solar panel here, and the caravan behind us, this is how we live. Absolutely fantastic. And we've been doing this, this last trip, totally off grid with no mains power for a good six weeks. That's right, six weeks. I know some of you out there, especially the newbie, like we were, were bloody concerned whether our battery power will be enough to last us through what we're doing. Well, in this video here, I'm going to talk about it and tell you exactly how much you need for what you're doing. Now, now, I read a lot on social media, and I'm sure you guys and girls out there, if you're fresh or you're into this adventuring, you're on these platforms like every day, better than mainstream media. Like, on a daily basis, at night time, instead of watching the television, I open up the old, what do you call it, telephone? Telephone, that's an old word. I, I open up the old iPad, and I'm straight onto YouTube. I love YouTube. Doesn't matter what subject is, it's more like, the university of the future. Love going through stuff. I love getting onto Facebook and different groups and different areas of uh, expertise and just getting the feedback from people. But one thing I seem to find is that us newbies, we all have a fear of going off grid because of our power loss. But what I want to tell you, fear no more, because Chappie's here. What do we have behind us here? We've been traveling oh, just on under two years with a, a Snow River caravan. When ours first came up, we started off with a, a 200, no it wasn't, I think it was 120 AGM battery. You're thinking, geez, that won't get you far. Well, if you're just hanging around the, the caravan parks and showgrounds, it's all you need. Because what is it there to power up? Well, it's only there to power up before you hook on the main speed. You've got 12 volt lights, that's all you need. You've got your little radio, that's all you need. 120 amp battery will do you the world of good. Because remember, your refrigerator will run off gas. That's right. Because if your refrigerator is running off anything less than gas, <coughs> all it does is maintain the temperature. If I'm confusing you there, I'll start again. Your refrigerator works best on gas and on 240 volts. That's if you're running a, a three-way fridge. When you're running off the car, all it is doing there is maintaining the ambient temperature. So you don't have to worry about that. So anyways, we're traveling, we're gonna do Australia, and we thought we need something a bit stronger than just 120 amp hour batteries. So what we went and did, we picked ourselves up to 150 amp hour. I don't care what brand and breed you get, we picked up two 150 amp hour lithium batteries. And by geez, didn't they make a difference? What do we run off them? Well, let us tell you. We have our sleep app machines, <coughs> 12 volt converted. We have our lights inside, 12 volts. We have a little fan on our compost toilet, again, 12 volts. We have our fans on our shower and our ensuite, 12 volt. We also have the water pump, 12 volt. <coughs> These items hardly chew up anything. It's when you, you throw other gear on and you're charging up on them is when the power starts using. So what we also have on a roof, as you can see, is a 200 watt solar panel. No more. It's 200 watt. That's not saying you can't go up there and whack 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1400 watts. Whack what you want on. And some people do that for one reason and one reason only because our whole caravan is electric. Good on you. How fantastic is that? You know, they've got electric stoves, they've got electric cookers, and they're running through their own inverter 
and that's fantastic. My problem is I have a heart condition and we can't have those induction cookers. <laughs> so what we run is a 200 watt on the roof and beside here, as you can see where I'm pointing here, we have a 250 um, foldable panel. Does the job perfectly for our 300. We have a great time in our caravan. And like I said, 90% of our travel is off grid. And the last, well, let's call it six, nearly two months, has been totally off grid as well. We have not used mains power. That doesn't stop the wife from using her um, toaster. Doesn't stop the wife from using the uh, microwave. But doesn't stop the wife from using her air fryer. And why is that? Well, come around and let me show you. Now, there are times where the cheese and kisses of Mrs., the lover of my life, needs to use 240 volt power. And how we do this is through a couple of inverters. That's right, two inverters. We have the caravan set up with two lots of cables coming across. We have a 50 amp DC cable. Then we go for the real big one to handle the... Um, 3000 watt inverter. You're thinking, well, geez, why did you run two? Well, each to their own, and that's just how I like it. Now, the lighter cable we use for our smaller inverter. And again, you're probably saying, well, why do you have two inverters, Chatty? Why don't you just run the big one? Well, the reason for that is that they both drain. But you'll find the smaller one won't drain as much as the larger one. And what we use the smaller one for? Well, that's for power and recharging our power tools or for running our computer and other equipment when I want to edit like this. So I find just plug in the little 300 watt will use less of the battery storage I have than the big one. And then we have the 3000 watt inverter. And the reason we have that is that Allison can use like things like a toaster. <laughs> the air fryer a microwave inside and um yeah whatever else she wants to use like the air fryer if i hadn't said that of course this will use up a lot more power than what the little 300 watt one so when they're required to be used we use them and a bit of a tip here if you're using the air fryer try and do that during the day just so your batteries will charge up a bit more you got a bit of storage overnight. Like having all this power doesn't mean we don't use gas as well. Here we have the Coleman two burner and the cheese and kisses and misses again loves the majority of the cooking on this baby here. Even our breakfasts and our morning coffees. But the microwave comes in handy just for reheating the old takeaway as I call it, which is leftovers, rather than have to stir it up in a pot and make a mess easy this power hopefully i'm not confusing you now here we are on the outside and as you're aware this point here is normally used for when you're using house power at a caravan park or anywhere else but what we have got here we use our 15 amp cable running through an adapter that comes from the inverter you saw inside comes into the caravan to which then alice can just use the microwave as it is inside or any other equipment. The toaster inside saves her having to pull them all back out. Ingenuity on the farm, isn't it? But you're probably thinking, well, Chappie, what happens if there's no sun out there? What happens if you're out there in the bush okay, and it's been overcast for a week, it's been raining for another week, so you've been out there two weeks, and there's totally no sun at all. How do you go then? How do you recharge? Well, what we've set our caravan up with is with a, an MPPT DC, DC charger, 40 amps. And we just run it, hooked it up to the DC, uh, hooked it up to the Ray Anderson plug, and we can plug that into your car. That's right. Now, you've probably heard the stories, and I hear them all the time, that you shouldn't just have your car idling. We run a diesel. Um, it's not good for it. It's not this. It's not that. Let me tell you, they're an engine. And in my 64 years of a time on this life, I haven't never seen a problem with a car just idling. 
and certainly with the 76,000 k's we've got on this baby since 2022 we still haven't had a problem so for us this is what we use as our supplementary energizer to reboot our batteries in our caravan run it through an MPPT a DC DC 40 amp charger and we're throwing 20 amps an hour into this baby that's pretty bloody good as far as I'm concerned and it's only been used in the very rare occasions so to be fair income <coughs> at any time of the day our batteries are running between anywhere between 85% and 100% in fact at the moment it's 10:30 in the morning and we're up to 96% pretty handy isn't it so girls and boys out there in caravanning land or rooftop land if you're doing anything to do with 12 volt don't let it overstress you in particular if you're brand new to this you see so much going out on out there it's like looking at chemistry you know, whoa is this going to work for me well, i can tell you like i've said we're just under two years on the road and we've been running this system the whole time no generator and that doesn't mean i don't have a thing against generators you got one go off and use it why not why not use it our problem with a generator is our weight issue and room issue and um, that's all it is but life on the road with 12 volt is just as easy as what is life on the road or life at home or life in the caravan park don't think we've had a problem whatsoever only thing we really don't run is the air conditioner but with circo fans circo fans whatever you call them and the windows open we don't have a problem at all she's still pretty ambient inside the caravan we love it <coughs> so get yourself out there try not to worry too much about is this going to work and is that going to work and we're going to run out of power and have a total blackout because you will find even when mainstream suburbia is having a blackout you can be in your caravan watching your television heating up yesterday's Chinese food and living the dream of Chappie. But look after yourself. Have fun. Try not to panic because panicking takes away the joy of the day. And remember, if you're not travelling, why not?